Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the monthly Save Thor News fundraiser. Where I go crazy with the cheese whiz. Because at the beginning of every month, I rely on your contributions and donations to keep Thor News up and running. So, let us get to it. We're talking about a planet that should not exist. Wait, what? This giant planet should not exist, says Earth Sky News. And that's crazy. Who's to say who should and shouldn't exist? All right, hopefully I'll get my sense of humor back. We'll see, though. Like 2019, it's a cliffhanger. And unexpected surprises around every turn. This giant exoplanet should not exist, but it does. This is posted by Paul Scott Anderson in space. Posted? What, did he just um, copy and paste it from somewhere else? I don't get it. As the number of newly discovered exoplanets planets orbiting distant suns continues to rise, so do unexpected surprises. Scientists say that giant exoplanet, good job, 35, 12B, shouldn't even exist, bro, around its tiny star. But it does. Oh, look, it's cute. It looks like Planet 9. All right, Planet 9. Oh, yeah, that's another subject I should cover as well. Scientists have learned a lot in the past few decades about how planets form. But there is much left to be figured out. Unexpected discoveries sometimes make that more difficult, but also that much more interesting, of course. Now, another one of those discoveries has been made. An exoplanet 30 light years away, according to theoretical models. It shouldn't exist, but it does. Kind of like my love life. Man, I'm so handsome. I'm so charming. I'm so funny, and my hands are amazing, but my love life is like a negative zero. That was a bad segue. Scientists have learned a lot in the past decades about how these planets form, but there's still much to be figured out. Unexpected discoveries can sometimes make that more difficult, but also that much more interesting, kind of like with love lives. All right, insert your love life here. Gross? Of course, now another one of those discoveries has been made. An exoplanet, I've read all this. I'm rusty. Man, I can't wait to get out of hurricane season. An exoplanet 30 light years away that, according to current theoretical models, shouldn't even exist, but it does. An observatory in Spain discovered the planet called Good Job 3512B. Did I reread all that over again? I'm rusty. And now researchers at the University of Bern in Switzerland are trying to solve the mystery. Kind of like what we're doing here. I'm Sagittarius. I like to hunt out the mystery. Oh no, I just combined astrology and astronomy. I'm going to be a deep shit. And then I cussed. I'm pissing off everybody. Hey, Pluto's going direct any moment now. The intriguing peer-reviewed peer results were published in Science on September 27th, 2019. What if your peers had to review your love life? That'd be weird, huh? I guess in many ways they do. This planet, good job, 3512B was discovered by a Spanish-German research consortium called Jimenez. That's short for Spanish Inquisition of Technology. They're bad at spelling. I'm just kidding, man. I gotta let that go, huh? Using a telescope at Calar Aldo Observatory in southern Spain, a major goal of Carmenes is to find planets orbiting the smallest stars using an infrared spectrograph. Woo, baby. Mystery exoplanet. The planet GJ3512b is not supposed to exist. It's so big compared to its star that it can't have formed in the way we think most planets do. That's a weird sentence. But remember, they're scientists, man. They're not necessarily uh, writing majors. There's a word for writing. What is it called? I forget. Mystery exoplanet. The planet Good Job 3512b is not supposed to exist. It is so big compared to its star, it can't have formed in the way we think most planets do. That's just a weird sentence, though. Like, it can't have formed, but it did form in the way most planets do. We don't even know how most planets form, man. That's a weird thing. As I noticed that before the Hubble, science was like, we don't know much. We just have to keep studying, researching, and looking at the data. And then the Hubble got put up, and they were like, we know everything. We know exactly how planets form. 
We know exactly how stars form. We know exactly what their favorite color is. We know what type of music they like to dance to. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And maybe that's why they haven't put up another telescope after the Hubble, because then they might realize we don't really know everything, especially when it comes to planets and stars a gazillion miles across the universe. <sighs> Good job. 3512 is a red dwarf star. Its mass is 12% of the sun's 31 light years from Earth. Wait, what? Yeah, they never tell us stories about things that are really close. It's always far away, so you ain't got to worry about it. A good job, 3512B. Oh, it's a planet. It's a gas giant with its little dwarf star. And it's got a mass 46% of that of Jupiter's, which means it's light and fluffy. Kind of like you. If, 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 if you're a snow cone poodle, I don't even know what that means. The puzzle here is that the planet is too big for its star. Oh. I've kind of been in that situation. It, it got dicey. I think she still loves me, though. According to the conventional understanding of modern-day astronomers, the star itself is a dwarf star. And remember, dwarfs can be totally badass. Remember Tyrion? Who doesn't? Except for those hipsters who are like, I refuse to watch Game of Thrones because everybody else watches it. it says it's great. So then I stay away. Because it's popular. Only about a tenth of the mass of our sun. Yeah, okay. But this tiny star is orbited by a gas planet. Half the masses of our solar system's largest planet, Jupiter. That shouldn't be possible, scientists thought. Man, I want to get a t-shirt that says, that shouldn't be possible, scientists thought. And that sentence itself is weird. Did you copy and paste this from the artificial intelligence? I got a question. If the AI is so smart, how come it's so bad at the talking to text thing? It's like it just gets worse. As Christopher Mordassini, a professor of the University of Bern, explained. I wonder who they're voting for in the 2020 election. Around such stars, there should only be planets the size of the Earth. A somewhat more massive super-Earth. Good job, 3512B, however, is a giant planet. With a mass about half as big as those of one Jupiter. And thus, at least one order of magnitude more massive than the planets predicted by the theoretical models for such small stars. Yeah, dude, we don't know jack shit. We don't really know much about planetary formation. We don't really know much about that stellar formation. But we try. And ain't nobody going to hand you a grant if you're like, I don't really know. I'd like to do more research. You got to say, this is what it is, I think. The whole grant thing is weird. You got to, like, use all your science research to submit a paper that your peers review and then stick it behind a nature paywall. That don't make no sense. All right. Speaking of that, I was did a video on economics, petroleum, deception, and war. You know, the base of our economy. That explains a lot. Mardassini continued, Our model of the formation and evolution of planets predicts that around small stars, a large number of small planets will be formed. Our model predicts that there should be no giant planets around such stars. Yeah, you know, I, Thor Thor News, I get humbled at the beginning of every month during these fundraisers. And it, so it's always good for me, you know, and so it should be good for science to be humbled all the time too. And I always recommend, you know, the grand solar minimum people and the like human caused climate change people. And then me, the like all gas giants on the same side people, we should all get together and work together to adjust the earth weather changes instead of yelling at everybody about who's right, who's wrong. Nobody's even looking at anybody's data and we're not really getting anywhere in our petrocentric cities of the past. Mardassini is one of the leading experts in the theory of planet formation, and Carmenes reached out to him about their unusual discovery. So how to explain this? The current model of planet formation, core accretion, says that the planets form from the bottoms up, baby. Oh, man. You know, when I could edit videos, um, they would show pictures of beautiful women. And then someone would show up, and then craziness would happen. So dang, I'm glad that I don't get to do that anymore. What? Who knows? Tables turn sometimes. Starting off small and gradually accreting matter to grow larger. Ooh. It's like a planetary... I won't say it. You can fill that joke in at home. And maybe that's not the case with good job 3512B. Maybe it formed by gravitational collapse. 
according to Mordassini. A part of this gas disk in which the planets are formed collapses directly under its own gravitational force, a top-down process. But there are problems with that idea, he said. Why hasn't the planet continued to grow and migrate closer to the star in that case? You would expect both if the gas disk had enough mass to become unstable under its gravity. The planet Good Job 3512b is therefore an important discovery that should improve our understanding of how planets form around such stars. I still think the sun gives birth to them. People are like, no, that's crazy. But we have seen Jupiter and Saturn give birth to their moons. And so Jupiter and Saturn are like many solar systems. And so if Jupiter and Saturn can give birth to moons, then why would it be so absurd to think that the sun can give birth to a planet, especially considering Earth has a star inside its core? You know, what if the sun baby I, I was researching back in the day, which did disappear, by the way, what if the Earth gave birth to it and shot it out really, really far away? And that's what comets are. And then when comets, some of the major massive comets slow down, they become planets. Who knows? Imagination, man. It's like the smartphones kill our imagination in some way. And they're like, the smartphones like, you have to agree with consensus. And I'm like, no, but I don't want to. Giant exoplanets similar to Jupiter or Saturn have been discovered orbiting many stars now and apparently common, at least in our own galaxy. Understanding how they form around both larger and smaller stars will help scientists better understand how planets form overall. Discovery of Good Job 3512b shows again that we should also expect the unexpected. Yeah, that's what I like to do as Planetary Defense Commander. The universe is full of surprises. So are women. It'd be great if they could be full of good surprises. Oh, I got off the rails again. When scientists find something that shouldn't be able to exist but does, that's an exciting moment in science. I'll agree. Bottom line, astronomers have discovered a giant exoplanet that current planet formation theory says shouldn't be able to exist, but it does. All right, I hope we all learned something today. We learned that sometimes the things we understand to be total fact aren't, and that we still have a lot to learn together as people. That's why it's best to work together. And so, hey, if you do want to contribute or donate, keep me around. As your planetary defense commander, I would super appreciate it. Um, and when hurricane season's down, hopefully I can get back to making badass videos and I can get my hackers to calm down so I can edit videos again. And then we can all laugh, laugh, and laugh. But if you do want to support me, I got an email. I'll also leave an information box, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron. And as of 720, on October 2nd, I got $437 to go. And with about 45 hours left in this monthly fundraiser. Thanks again to Kenneth, Athena, Lynn, CJ, times two. Matthew, Brady, K, Kenneth, David, Robin, Carol, Brian, Brant. Sorry. Casey and Elizabeth. I love everybody. I love you, Astro Fight Club. All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. May the force be with you always. And let us live long and prosper together. Also, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video because my good mic is working again. So, I'm just going to keep recording them as... And then put them out in a stunted basis. I'll try and put the amount that I'm trying to raise on top of the video. But, okay, great. You guys are cool and I love you.